Yeah. I, I think I'm, that's what I like. I'm really freedom based in my politics. And uh, I, I think I've become more so since I moved into this house. I don't know what it is, but something about having a little elbow room. It, it's as dumb as this is. And You're I, able I, to exercise some more of your rights. So they mean more to you. I, and I recognize that this next thing I'm about to say is dumb, but hang in there because it's just emotional something about getting my water from the ground and having my own septic system has made me my own island it, it's hopefully different tanks yeah yeah you know don't judge <laughs> hey, <laughs> so, we, got a, so, we, got nice we got a brita <laughs> <laughs> so uh but yeah it's just, it's just like like all right you know yeah so we get my the only thing i get from like the the grid out there is electricity and even that i'm like wouldn't it be great if i had my own solar i would have my own like country here and you know, with the exception of perhaps trash service, but um, something about that has made me a little more don't tread on me, like a little more like, you know, like just I don't know. Every day that passes that doesn't include you planting your first crop is a shock to me. <laughs> I don't know. I, you've got you. You got the tools. You got the talent. You got the land. You got everything it takes. I am shocked. That Colin and Hope are not out there in overalls picking peas or something or carrots and stuff. They really like, should be. Good point. Yeah, I, I just I don't know. I've just become a little more don't try to me a little more. Like, I I feel like when I was packed in in the cul-de-sac over there, it was like you know we live in a community. This is a society. We have rules and and understanding. And and now it's not that I don't live in a society. It's just that it's a little more like I enter and leave it. Whereas before I was always in it. And you can you can paint your mailbox however you want now. That's literally a thing. Yeah, I, I, I not only could I not paint my mailbox anything I wanted, I had to buy my mailbox from an approved vendor. You know, you could just go to Home Depot and get a mailbox. Something subtle about it will be different. Oh, is that a plastic red flag? <laughs> no, no, siree. You need a metal red flag in this neighborhood. Your mailbox yeah. is slightly different than your peers. And, and, you know, so you would go to a pro and they were so expensive. It was like $320 for a mailbox or something. And, uh, they're like 1995, but just mildly different. We had a neighbor who'd got a new mailbox and it was the same in every way, except it didn't have the brass straps across the top. <laughs> that shit doesn't fly in Amherst. <laughs> you, you better find a way to get some brass straps on that mailbox. And yeah. Christ. Yeah. So now, it, and by the way. That's what we need our government doing and investing time in. <laughs> well, that's not government. Making sure that we have mailbox continuity. <laughs> it's a and homeowners is association. Isn't it? Homeowners association homeowners. is what it was. Oh, homeowners association. And, and, which is yeah. almost, it's kind of a form of government. And they're definitely supported by the government. Like a, the government will say, yeah, homeowners. There's a, a hierarchy of laws. It's like state, county, city, homeowners association. Yeah. And if it's not defined but by those other ones. Is that it is kind of a law. Because if you said, no. Screw you, homeowners association. They wouldn't just say rats. They called our bluff. <laughs> like something would happen. So they could is, literally take your house from you. In yeah, a way. yeah. And and in my view on HOAs is if that's what you want, cool. You know, like when I bought that house, I knew it had an HOA, and I felt like you know I signed the papers, I agreed to it, and I liked. We had a neighbor down the like four doors down from us. He had a Corvette which sounds nice, but it was like a project he never worked on. And it literally sat on four flat tires in his driveway, if you can imagine this. And the paint on it was getting like cloudy. And you know how you get those like, I don't know, patches. And it, it looked like hell. And then he put a tarp on it, but the tarp was never like properly put on it. So like, like a corner would be exposed and it would blow in the rain. And he Heavens just no it, sloppy tarpsmanship. <laughs> yes. Right. It <laughs> looked like, like hell. It, it was like a broken down car in his driveway that just sat there for months. And the HOA was like, you know, you can't have that. And I think he sold it or something. And I'm, I never said anything like I, I, I never ratted on anyone. Because I'm not a perfect person either. You know, the moment I rat on your car, my yard comes up as a topic. <laughs> you know, <laughs> crab grass was not nice. It's so that's what that's one of the things that's so funny to me is like the is in your last home, we used to talk about how awful your yard was. And I'd be like, yeah, you could put some stuff out here, you know, a little, little, little turf. You'd have yourself, you know, a couple hundred square feet of 
grass to put your bare feet on. You're like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> you know? You know? I was like, do you pay somebody to cut it? He's like, it most it mostly just dies on its own. <laughs> like, it's 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 hard to support a stalk of grass taller than this around here. So it was tough. So the, our front yard, uh, one, it had a really big oak tree in it, and that apparently like kills all the grass nearby. And two, it had an incline. And at one time, I remember this. Oh, my God. I worked my ass off to, like, take this really hard, compacted, awful clay. And I'm with a hand raking, making it all loose and puffy and nice. And then I spread my um, it's grass seed on it. And then I put, like, lime or whatever fertilizer they told me to put on it. And then I put hay on it. And I start watering it daily. And I'm trying to, like, bring back my front yard. And what grows? The fucking hay I put on it. Like that's it. You know, now I've got these like like ah, this is awful. <laughs> it's not what I wanted at all. So I, it, it yeah. Anyway, it was just hard to grow there. You're going wheat in the front yard. Yeah, it's really yeah. sparsely. Yeah, I'm like this. None of it. Like this. Like this shit. And I did it the right time of year. I thought I did it all right. I just I am. I suck at at growing grass. So anyway, I don't know how I got on this topic, but but yeah, somehow moving from that like subdivision to this little you know oasis. Uh, has made me, uh, you know, just a little more like, yeah, I like rules that let people even do stupid things if they want. You know, I don't think a mountain should be off limits to climbing because it's dangerous. If you want to climb a mountain, knock yourself out. Um, I kind of feel that way about gun rights too. I know some people will disagree. I, uh, paramotoring, right? I like the laws that we have now. So it's, you can't bring passengers unless you're like licensed and stuff. But the general idea behind the paramotor licensing is like, dude, you don't need a license, knock yourself out because the only guy that gets hurt in this is you and you're allowed to do that. And you know, that's why there's no like requirements for, for doing the paramotor thing. So, uh, I yeah, yeah, I, you I like fly around. You should be able to fly around, just not over heavily populated areas. That's or actually where a rule. There's a lot of electrical lines. That's just, not a rule. <laughs> you know, you're allowed to, to hit those the line, <laughs> where, lines aren't breaking in this scenario <laughs> you know? we're gonna get some great uh live leak clips once this becomes more of a mainstream hobby whole <laughs> montages of people just <laughs> <laughs> like bugs on <laughs> like those zappers <laughs>